Hello, hello, it's been a while, but I just want to share one quick little tip that I've been using lately to automatically break lines in data merged text. So you may recall that I have a previous tutorial about how to make new lines in data merged text that is a little bit complicated. It requires you to type in some piece of code like new line or some other string of characters like YYY or, or uh, ZZZ, something that wouldn't normally appear in a piece of text in your game. Uh, and as a result uh, would, uh, after some uh, finagling with some character styles, uh, you'd ev eventually just make this uh, word so long and so wide and you stretch it out so far that uh, InDesign would have no choice but to automatically break this text uh, into a separate line. And then your goal then would be to basically make that text disappear by replacing the color in that swatch with just none. Um, and from there you could adjust the uh, a little bit of the uh, letting and the line height so that you could adjust the space in between the paragraphs. The downside of doing this method is that it requires you to know the exact width of your text frame and adjust the character style uh, accordingly so that you ensure that whatever your code is that makes a new line will fill the entirety of that text frame, but not over, otherwise you're going to create overset text problems and not under because otherwise you're not gonna break the line. It's so finicky and I found this new method to be a lot simpler. So here's what you're gonna do. First off, let's make a new character style. The only attribute in this character style is going to be that we set the tracking to 10,000, which is really, really wide. Let's call this new line, because that's what essentially we're only going to be using this for. Cool. Uh, now we need to make a paragraph style for this. Let's call this body, because this is just going to be the main body text. Uh, and for now, the only attribute that I'm adding to this uh, is the grep style new line. And what am I going to be, uh, be applying this character style to? Uh, basically, what I want to do is uh, in my data merge document, I want to be able to just type in two spaces and that alone indicate uh, a new a new line of text. So I'm going to use uh, I could just type two spaces into this and that would qualify. but um, if you want to be more uh, very technical about it, you could just do two slash spaces like this, uh, and these will indicate two white spaces in general. Um, but uh, just to keep things simple, I'm going to put two spaces in here. It's going to look like there's nothing there, but trust me, there are two spaces in there. So I'm going to hit OK. And nothing's really going to change here, but I have applied the paragraph uh, style to this piece of text. But look what happens when I try to type in two spaces. So there's already a space here at the end of the sentence. I'm going to type in a second one. That just broke into a uh, separate line. I'm going to try to do it again on this sentence. Hey, look at that. So that is all you need to do. In your data merge document, all you have to do is just type a second space at, uh, anywhere you like. Uh, and this grep style that you have applied to this paragraph style uh, is going to apply the new line attributes to the uh, piece of text, just that sequence of two spaces. Um, so you got to be careful about that because sometimes people will, uh, buy, they, people have been trained to type in two spaces after uh, after a period, uh, and so that will automatically result in some uh, line breaks that you didn't expect. Uh, also, there's some behavioral things that happen that are kind of weird in in uh, in InDesign. Uh, for example, uh, you can't really uh, control so much of the uh, of where the the other lines in the paragraph break. They kind of balance out quite a bit in a, in a very odd way. Um, this is and this is without the balance ragged lines option that you would uh, that you would normally use to get this kind of effect. Uh, when you do apply that, uh, it really tends to only affect the last sentence or the last line of text uh, in your paragraph style. Uh, so be careful about that. You're going to get some weird, unpredictable line breaks that you're going <laughs> to wish you didn't have to deal with so much. By way of example, this is also what happens uh, when you make a piece of paragraph text like this uh, centered. It's going to balance out both sides of that again. You see again, both sides have been, uh, the ragged edge has been balanced uh, around this. So it's it's a cool thing. Uh, I like it. Uh, it's certainly simpler than the new line code, um, but uh, hopefully you find it useful too. All right. Bye.